Hey guys, it's Rick Overstat. So, the other day I did a live stream and I had such a difficult time working with one of the shades in the James Charles Morphe palette, so I figured I would try a different brush, something that's a little bit more dense, and uh, really like take the time and work with the shadows. So, I already have all my base products on. All I did was basically an eye look using the James Charles palette. Um, if you were thinking about getting this palette, yes, it has beautiful colors in it. There are quite a few shades that are very difficult to work with, some that you have to use specific brushes with, some that you have to use wet, some you have to use with your finger and or wet. There's just a lot of things that you need to take into consideration when working with this palette, whether or not the uh, you're working with the pressed pigments or the other shades in the palette. Some of these shades are very tricky. Um, I think I spend more time packing shadow on and blending it than any any other shadow, shadow or palette that I own, hands down, and I have loose pigments that are raw pigments. So um, I've never had those problems with those, but with this palette I have. So this is the completed look that I just did. If you want to see how I did this and keep on watching, I will be doing a voiceover for the rest of it. So hopefully you enjoy. I will be trying to include a picture of the palette so you, and um, I'll put like an X over the color that I'm using so that you know, if you miss me holding it up, showing you the shade, you know what I'm working with. Uh, everything that is on my face will be linked in the description box, and hopefully you guys enjoy. If, you know, if you like the video, like it. If you have any questions for me or would like to comment, then leave that down below. I love getting comments from you guys because I actually reply to them, and I do read every one. So feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the fun stuff that YouTubers ask you to do, and I will see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, so first we're going to start off this look with the very first shade in the James Charles X Morphe palette called Canvas, and I am placing this all over my lid. I just took whatever concealer that I had on my face and just carried it up to my eyelid as a primer. Now I'm going into the shade Brother, which is actually a pressed pigment. I'm using a very dense, large shadow brush from Scone Cosmetics. And I am like tapping that on and then sweeping. So I do like a tap and a sweep motion in order to place the pigment down. And the couple of times that you see me use my little dry makeup wipe, um, I'm just getting any extra off my skin or like say I, I went too far with the color. And it, it just is a really good way to get rid of extra pigment that is on your skin. So now I'm taking the paper that I wrote down everything that I have on my face and I'm using that to create a sharper edge to carry that blue out. I have hooded eyes and they're kind of downturned so I have to use that paper in order to get a normal looking wing because my eyes do turn down a little bit. And as you notice, I am I pack the shadow on and then I go back and I pack more shadow on because as I was using this shade what was happening was if you put shadow on and then like you move to another spot and you put more shadow on it's like the first spot gets a bald spot and you're like wait a minute and then when I blended I noticed that I had problems with it as well now I'm taking the pinkety drinkety shade which is also a pressed pigment above that brother shade to help blend that out at the very top and there goes my color switch now I'm working with the shade single and I'm using that directly in my crease underneath that brother shade and then putting it on the outer V area and carrying it halfway in on my lid and I'm packing and swiping and you can hear me singing <laughs> I recorded this without actually talking through it because I, I knew I could get through it a lot faster without actually talking while I was recording. This video actually was like 30 minutes long and I have I have sped it up quite quite a bit in order to get it to the you know 10 minutes that I've got right now. Now I'm taking the shade Rusted, which is also a pressed pigment, and that is a luxe brush that I'm using, and I'm popping that in the center of my eyelid and underneath and then what I'm doing is I'm dragging it up underneath that blue that I use to like wing it out to kind of like give it a little bit more of a, a punchy effect on the the V on the outside of my eye 
and it also ties in the look as well because I use it under my eye and then I carry it out onto the wing. And I'm just smoking that along my lower lash line as well and then I drag it up onto the underside of the wing kind of like to highlight it. And that's a very difficult shade to work with. You really kind of have to build it up and build it up and build it up just like that brother shade in order to get the color to be as rich and as pigmented as you want it. And there I go putting blue back on because I must have touched it and it that that I was just adding blue back on I had a difficult time getting that blue to stay. Now I'm taking the shade literally and I'm gonna put that in the inner third of my eye. And I'm using a, a sponge tip applicator, applying that to the inner third of my eye, thinking that that would be the best way to pack that shadow onto my lid. And I do have some difficulty applying that shade, so what I ended up having to do was flip the brush over to the synthetic side and try and use the synthetic side of the brush in order to get whatever patchy spots that I saw to like smooth out. And even that didn't work, I ended up taking my finger and pressing the shadow onto the inner third of my lid to hide some of those like bald spots on my lid. I also took the sponge tip side of it and then carried it down underneath my eye onto the lower lash line from the tear duct all the way up to meet the rusted shade so that it, it kind of matched what was going on on the lid. And there, there I go pressing it on my lid. And the sponge tip applicator worked fine under my eye, it's just for whatever reason on my lid it didn't want to like put the color down. Okay, now I'm going into the shade Ring Light and I'm putting that on my very inner corner and then carrying that up onto my brow bone. And then I use my finger to smooth over that shade on my brow bone so that if it looks like a little chunky or whatever, it just kind of smooths it out and makes it look a little bit more seamless. And then I blend over it so that it's not like such a harsh a harsh contrast or like super chunky in one spot where it, you know oh and I also used it as highlight everywhere else on my face because I didn't really have any highlight on so I used ring light also on my face and there I go reapplying the purple shade It's like I'd, I'd look at the shadow and after I'd put another color on or I went and blended some, it's like the shade just vanished off, off my face somehow. And there is the finished eye look. And I've thrown on some black liquid liner and I'm pulling a Jen Loves Reviews here. I did throw some lashes on. These are the Pure Pure Lore eyelashes. I did cut them to fit my my eyelid, but don't ever try and wash them. They fall apart. So hopefully you guys liked the finished look. I tried to do like a Jen Loves Reviews um, reveal of the lashes. I always think that it's super cute when she does that, where she does this and she has the, you know just regular makeup on, and then she moves her hands and she's got pow lashes on. I thought that was really cute. Um, so I decided I would incorporate that into this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments. I enjoy getting comments from you guys. And if you thought that working with these shadows was as difficult as it looked, uh, it is. <laughs> It is, and I went through cosmetology school back in 1997. I've done wedding makeup and bridal makeup and that kind of stuff at the salon where you're working with hot tools on someone's hair and then having to do their makeup afterwards where they're hot and they're sweaty and that kind of stuff from getting their hair done. Um, I have never in my life had this much difficulty working with an eyeshadow ever. Um, so it's not as perfect as I would like it, and like I always say, if you screw up an eyeshadow look, throw some glitter on it and some lashes and call it a day because you're just going to drive yourself crazy trying to get it the way that you want it or absolutely perfect. 
So hopefully you guys enjoy. This will be my very first video of 2019. I am using everything from my shop, my stash. I did a live stream the other, uh, was it yesterday, the day before. It was a couple, it was a day or so ago where I did a shop my stash thing um, and I pulled product that I'm, I either don't use regularly or I'm not comfortable using or I want to use up or there it's the wrong shade or things like that. So that's what's on my face. Everything will be linked down below and I will, you know, include all the information for all the palettes and stuff that I used or I should say the palette and all the products that I use. So hopefully you like this look. If you do, leave me a thumbs up. And hopefully you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. I will see you in another video soon. Bye.